<laughs> okay, everyone, happy Friday. Let's rock and roll. So we're gonna start with a quick warm up here. So we're gonna lunge forward, twist out to the side, getting that leg, getting the legs warmed up, and opening up your T spine. Awesome. Good job, we'll do two more of these. And done. Okay, nice wide stance now. We're gonna reach right arm to left toe, left arm to right toe. We're gonna alternate just like that. Get a good stretch through your hamstrings and your groin and through your spine. Good, three, two, one, and done. Now we're gonna do high knees here. We can do it as a march, or you can pick it up into a jog. Keep going with that. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds. Awesome, nice work, everyone. Keep those knees nice and high, getting them right out in front of you. Stay light on the feet. And now we're into butt kicks. You can do this as a walk as well, or you can pick it up into a jog. Remember, stay light on the balls of your feet. Awesome. Should feel that heart rate start to climb now. And done. Now we're into jumping jacks. You can keep it nice and small like I'm doing, or you can make it larger and jump higher if you want to make that more challenging. Awesome, good work everyone, we're almost there. Awesome, now let's warm up those shoulders with some arm circles. Nice and easy, we don't wanna feel any pain or discomfort. Slowly opening up a bit larger if you can. You should feel that chest open and shoulders get warm. And switch directions. Good job, and done. Awesome, get a swing of water if you need it. Okay, so first uh, circuit they're gonna do four exercises, all lower body focus. So exercise number one, we have a side lunge. We're just gonna step out to the side, bring it back in, step back out to the same side. When we step out, we wanna get those hips Right back, sitting into it, getting as low as you can into the squat. Now, I know this is challenging for some people. So even if it's just a smaller range of motion, that's totally fine. You don't have to go all the way down, okay? We are targeting that leg that we're stepping out to. So make sure that leg is doing all the work. We're going to do 12 reps here. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. So I'm stepping out to my left side. So if you're doing the same, you should feel that left side working. Nice work team, there's eight. You may also feel a good little stretch through your groin here on the other leg. 11 and 12, awesome. Now we're gonna step out to the other side. Three, two, one, and go. Nice work, team. So making sure that side you're stepping out to is doing all the work here. That's nine, 10, 
11, and 12. Awesome. Now we're going to do a wall sit. So I want you to find a slice of wall, and we're just going to sit into it. Nice flat back, nice strong core. If you don't have a wall, we'll just do some tempo squats like that, going nice and quick, trying to bring up the heart rate and get those quads working. All right. Holding for 30. Three, two, one, and down. Awesome work, everybody. Now, if you want to make this more challenging, you're going to sit lower. If you want to make it a bit easier, come up a bit higher. Just make sure those knees are not shooting way past your toes. We're almost there. Keep pushing. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Now we're going to lie on the mat on your side with your hips stacked. And we're going to do a Jane Fonda. So just raising the leg, just like this, sideline leg raise. We're going to do 20 reps. Three, two, one, and go. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Make sure your top foot is not resting on the bottom foot every time you come down. 14, 15, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome. Switch sides. Hip stacked. Three, two, one, go. Now remember, when we do Jane Fondas, we want to make sure that foot is not opening up. So make sure your toe is pointing straight ahead, not up towards the ceiling, okay? There's 10, 12, 14, making sure you're not tapping that foot down. 18, 19, and 20. Awesome. And now we're up. So we have our cardio. We have two options here. We're either going to do skiers. So it's going to look like this. You're going to switch your alternating leg. Um, and then the other option is jump lunges, alternating, okay? We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Awesome. Now you can make these harder by going lower if you're doing the lunges. Otherwise, you're just keeping your back tall, pumping your arms, and switching that lead leg, all right? So you feel that heart rate climbing, we're almost there. Keep pushing. Here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Get some water. We'll get a quick little breather here. We'll take 20 more seconds. If you found those side lunges to be easy, grab some dumbbells or some weights, props, whatever you have, laundry detergent, cans, textbooks, and hold on to those to make yourself heavier. All right, getting you ready position. Starting in five. This time I'm going to start. Stepping out to my right side. Three, two, one, and go. Awesome. I did a leg workout yesterday and they're so sore. These are killing me. Awesome job, everyone. So if you're stepping out to the right side like me, that right leg should be doing all the work here. Awesome. Give me two more. And done. Okay, stepping out to the next side. Three, two, one, go. Now that left leg's doing all the work. Three, four. Try to get as deep as you can. Six. Eight. 
8, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. Grab a wall where you have our wall set. We'll give you guys five seconds to get there. And then we'll hold for 30. Three, two, one, and go. So again, make sure those knees are not shooting way past your toes. Sitting as deep as you can, you should feel a good burn through your quads or through your thighs. If it's a bit hard on your knees, you can come up a bit higher. That's going to make it easier. Focus on your breath. Awesome. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Great. Lying on your side for the Jane Fonda's. Hip stacked. Now, if you had trouble and you felt your hip flexor working and not the side of your bum, I want you to line your top toe with your bottom heel. That's going to help you target the posterior chain better. Three, two, one, and up. And we have 20 reps here. Keep it controlled. Five. Eight. And remember, you should feel the side of the bum working, not the hip flexor. 12, 14, 18, and 20. Awesome, switch sides. Three, two, one, and go. Two, keeping it controlled. Six, eight, 10, making sure you're not tapping that top foot down. We do not want to rest it. 14, 16, 18, and 20. Awesome. And now we have our alternating jump lunges or skiers for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds here. Now remember, the lower you go with that lunge, the harder it's gonna be. Or jumping to steers, keeping that back tall, upper body strong, feel that heart rate climb. With the jump lunges, make sure that front leg is doing all the work here, okay? Keep the, try to keep some weight off that back leg. We're almost there, here we go, push. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Okay, get some water and a breather. That's two rounds down, one more to go. Try to focus on your breath, bringing that heart rate down. Awesome work, everybody. We'll get started in 15 seconds. So grab your last swig of water, grab your weights and props or whatever you're using. And we're starting with these side lunges. All right, so we started left side, right side now. Up to you on what side you wanna start with now. I'm going to start by stepping out to my left side if you want to join me. Up to you though. Three, two, one, and go. So remember on that side lunge, you want to get those hips right back as you come down. All right. So your weight shouldn't be traveling forward. It should be traveling to the side and back. Awesome, everybody. There's nine. Ten. 11 and 12. Awesome. Switch. Three, two, one, go. Now we're going out to the right side. If you're with me, and that right leg should be doing all the work. Sitting those hips right down and back. Six. Seven. 
eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. Okay, now we have our wall set. 30 seconds. Give you five seconds again. Your starting position. Three, two, one, and sit. As low as you can, try to push yourself. Remember, if there's pain in the knees, you can come up a bit higher just to make it easier on that knee joint. Make sure your back is flat against the wall. Your glutes are engaged. And feel those quads burn. 15 seconds. Good job, everybody. Here we go. Home stretch. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Okay, lying on your side. Jane Fonda's last round. Three, two, one, and go. Two, four, six, eight. Keeping it controlled. Making sure you're not resting the top foot on the bottom foot after you trap. That's 17, 18, last two, and 20. Awesome. Now remember, if you're feeling your hip flexor in the front side more than the back side, line up your top toe with your bottom heel so that top leg's a little bit behind you. And go. That's going to help you squeeze the glute a bit better. Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 18, and 20. Awesome. All right, get up. Last set of jump lunges or skiers, 30 seconds. Starting in three, two, one, and go. Here we go. 30 seconds. Remember, if you're doing these lunges, try to keep most of the weight through the front leg to make it easy on your back knee. Just trying to make things easier on those joints. With the lunges as well, make sure that front knee isn't going way past your toe. Or up in skiers, if you're finding that to be a bit too challenging. You got this team. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Alrighty, get some water. Pace around the room if you need to. Focus on your breath, try to bring that heart rate down. You guys did great. One circuit's done. On to the next. So this next circuit's gonna be pretty much all core here. Four exercises again. Alrighty, okay. So first exercise we have is plank push-ups. So I'll show you three options here. Option one is from your knees, okay? We're gonna be in a high plank like this, nice flat back, and then we're gonna come down into a low plank and then back up. So that's your motion, okay? Option two is in a high plank from your toes, down to your elbows, back up to your hands, okay? If none of that is uh, good for you and you wanna make it a bit easier, we can just hold a regular front plank like this, for the duration of the set, okay? <clears throat> We're gonna do six reps leading with our right arm and then six reps leading with our left, okay? Three, two, one, high plank, low plank. High plank, low plank. There we go, there's two. Three, four, five, and six, switch. One, 
two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome. Now we're going to be in a side plank. So elbow stacked under your shoulder. You have two options. Option one, up like this from your knees. Option two, up like this from your toes, okay? We're going to keep those hips high, core drawn in strong. If you're on your right side like I am, you'll feel that right oblique work. Three, two, one, and up. 30 seconds here. Keeping that core strong, hips high. If you started from your toes and it's too tough, you can always go down to your knees. Awesome work, everybody. Keeping that core strong. Here we go, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Okay, up onto your next side. Three, two, one, and go. So hips should be stacked. Elbows should be stacked under your shoulders. Draw your core in strong if you're on your left side like I am. Now you'll feel that left oblique work. Good job, everybody. We're almost there. Here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Now we're into a V-sit. So leaning back just like this, keeping your core nice and strong. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. If your low back is bugging you, you can keep your hands behind your bum to help protect it. You can also keep your feet on the floor to make it easier. Awesome job, everybody. Squeeze that core. We're almost there. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. All right, now we're up for our cardio. We're gonna do jump squats just like this, okay? <clears throat> the higher you jump and the more explosive you are, the harder it's gonna be. Three, two, one, and go. Two. Oh, sorry, we're doing 30 seconds now for reps. So remember, the higher you jump, the harder it's gonna be. So you can keep it nice and low impact if you need to. And remember for your squat, you don't have to go all the way down if that's gonna bug your knees and hips. We're almost there. Should feel those legs burning. Heart rate climbing. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome, get some water. Good job, everybody. It will take five more seconds. So get, grab your last swig of water and then get down to your mat, starting with the plank push ups. Remember, you have three options planking from your knees, from your toes, or just a regular plank holding it, okay? We're leading six reps with our right. Six with our left again. Three, two, one, and go. Up into a high, down low. High, down low. There's three, four, five, and six. Down with the right now, or left, sorry. Three, four, Five and six. Awesome. Now we're into the side plank from your elbow and either on your knees or your toes. Three, two, one, and up. Squeezing that core, making sure you're breathing. 
Good job, everyone. We're almost there. Keep pushing. Three, two, one, done. Switching sides. Three, two, one, up. Nice strong core again. Awesome. Keep squeezing that core. Keep those hips high. Remember, you can drop to your knees if you're finding toes to be too challenging. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. All right, be set. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Nice and strong here. Squeeze that core. Remember, if you need to put your feet on the ground, you can or hands behind your bum, that's gonna help support you. Good job, everybody. Almost there, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. And now we're gonna get right into the jump squats. Three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds here. Remember, you can keep it nice and low impact. Otherwise, you can get right down, jump right up. Whatever works for you, okay? Awesome, 10 more seconds. And done. Great job, get some water. We're gonna do a small rest right here because we're up at 8.30 almost. So let's hop right into it so we can get it all done. Starting with those plank push-ups. Three, two, one, down and up. Down and up, that's two. Three, four, five, and six, lead with the left. Down, up, down, up. There's three, four, five, and six. Awesome job, everybody. <clears throat> Side plank, three, two, one, up. Keep those hips as high as you can, drawing that core in strong. Awesome, everybody. Hips high, core strong. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Switching sides, three, two, one, and up. Focus on your breath, keeping those hips high, core strong. Awesome, everybody. Three, two, one, and done. Woo! Last V-sit, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Keeping that core nice and strong here, 30 seconds. You got this. Now, if you wanna make it a little more challenging, we can open and close. That's gonna make it a little harder. Otherwise, just holding, squeezing that core. We're almost there. <clears throat> Three, two, one, done. Awesome. And last set of jump squats, 30 seconds and we're free. Three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds here. Try to push yourself a little harder if you have anything left in the tank. Remember to keep that landing low impact. Make it easy on those joints. Awesome, we're almost there. 
You can do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. You guys crushed it on Facebook. Have a great day. And thank you, Zoom friends. You guys are great. Thanks, Ty. Oh, Pooch. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you. Bye, Tony.